For the last six weeks, families of imprisoned government opponents have been coming to this human rights office to meet with lawyers. Among them, the wife and mother of two National Guardsmen. On January 20th, Luis Bandres and at least 27 other sergeants led a short-lived uprising in Caracas, calling on civilians to join forces to overthrow the government of Nicolás Maduro. All but one was captured and taken to Venezuela's infamous counterintelligence center for interrogation. My husband was blindfolded and beaten with baseball bats. Two people forced his legs open and kicked his testicles. Every day for weeks he was electrocuted until he passed out. They threatened him by telling him my children and I would be next if he didn't confess. But if he had the courage to rise up against this dictatorship, I have to support him. Sandra Hernandez's husband is now in a military prison awaiting trial for treason, but she's still worried of reprisals. Sergeant Harry Solano got away, but not his mother and cousins. Antonio Maite says five family members were taken away by intelligence officers looking for the sergeant's whereabouts. First they took his 63-year-old mother, his 73-year-old mother-in-law, my 19-year-old granddaughter and her boyfriend. They electrocuted them, beat them, asphyxiated them with plastic bags and sexually abused my granddaughter. After they released them, they took away my grandson, a policeman. It's been 19 days since we've heard from him. The treatment received by members of the military who rebel and their families is meant to keep them in line through terror, says Sandra. Those who support the government are the high-ranking officers, but the rest are afraid to show discontent because if you do, you're tortured, imprisoned and murdered. And if that weren't enough, they persecute your family. In the last week, more than 400 members of Venezuela's armed forces have deserted to neighboring Colombia and Brazil. But the mass uprising to overthrow Maduro that opposition leader Juan Guaido has been pleading for shows no sign of materializing. Cuban-trained counterintelligence services have reportedly infiltrated the armed forces and already thwarted several other plots to overthrow him. And no one can tell at this point just how many soldiers are being held in military prisons. The mother of junior sergeant Andres Paredes is aware that her 22-year-old son will likely be made an example of and sentenced to 30 years in prison. Sandra can't bear thinking that her two small children may never grow up with their father. Their only hope now, she says, is political change in Venezuela. Lucia Newman Al Jazeera, Caracas.